Library of functions. This list of functions are the most common we will encounter in the first half of the semester. We'll discuss their name, equation representation, graph, domain, and range. The constant function can be written as f of x equals c. No matter what x is, a constant, and we'll call it c, is what comes out. The result is a horizontal line. The domain is all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity, and the range is the number c. The identity function can be written as f of x equals x. Whatever x value goes in is the value that comes out. The result is a line. The domain is all real numbers, and so is the range. The absolute value function can be written as f of x equals x with bars surrounding it. Whatever x value goes in has the positive version come out. The result on the right half is a line, like the identity function. The left half does not go into the negative outputs though, and the entire graph looks like the letter V. The domain is all real numbers, and the range is everything greater than or equal to zero. The squared function can be written as f of x equals x squared. Whatever x value goes in gets multiplied by itself. The result looks like the letter u, called a parabola. The domain and range is like the absolute value function. The domain is all real numbers, and the range is everything greater than or equal to zero. The reciprocal function can be written as f of x equals 1 over x. Whatever x value goes in will have its reciprocal come out. The result is a strange looking graph that includes asymptotes, which are invisible lines that cannot be crossed at the end behavior. There is an asymptote where x is 0, since we cannot divide by it, and another asymptote where the output is 0, since we cannot come up with an input large enough to have a reciprocal of 0. The domain is all real numbers except 0, as is the range. The square root function can be written as f of x equals the square root of x. We'll take the square root of any input. The result is half of a parabola laying on its side. The domain is everything greater than or equal to zero, as is the range. You've now seen the basic library of functions. You'll want to know all of these basic features in order to find the domain and range of more complicated functions, which are based on these.